Hi, I'm Kevin Weiss, Chief Executive of Author Solutions, and I want to thank you for sharing a few minutes of your time with me. Last month, I had the opportunity to share with you my thoughts on the reaction that's taken place around the partnerships that we created with two of the largest publishing companies in the world. The debate was terrific, and we need more of it. But we need to have more open debate. And today, I want to invite the Science Fiction Writers Association, the Mystery Writers of America, and the Romance Writers of America to engage in a direct conversation with me and some of the folks at Author Solutions at their convenience. Not only do I want to discuss the differences that they have with our business model, as well as the partnership models that we're engaging with traditional publishing, but I also want to discuss the things that we do to advance the cause of their members on a daily basis. Last month, I discussed with you how Author Solutions is very focused on giving writers around the world greater choice in their publishing decisions. But choice is under attack. Recently, Brian Murray, Chief Executive Officer of HarperCollins, told the Wall Street Journal, if new hardcovers continue to be sold as $9.99 eBooks, the eventual outcome will be fewer literary choices for customers because publishers won't be able to take as many chances on new writers. Now, the $9.99 electronic book was not the creation of the traditional publishing industry. It was the creation of the world's largest book distribution company, Amazon.com. We've seen further evidence that the traditional publishing model is under attack when we saw in December Walmart.com, Amazon.com, and Target.com get into a price war on a handful of first-run hardback books where they settled in less than $9 a copy. With these as well as other market dynamics, traditional publishing companies are trying to figure out how to change their business model so that they can not only survive, but they can get back in the mode of thriving as businesses and not shrinking. That's why I'm inviting the three writers guilds who have expressed the greatest objections to the partnerships that we've established with traditional publishing to sit down with us and discuss how we can improve the opportunity for their writers and the choice for readers. On behalf of over 1,500 publishing professionals and freelance editors, I want to thank you for your time and your consideration.